right. Hey Tom, hey everybody. Welcome to uh, Nisei Week and the uh, John Naka Memorial Bonsai Show at Nisei Week. Um, come on in and we've got some pretty interesting trees this year. As you can see, we're in the George Doizaki Gallery here at the Japanese American Community Cultural Center where our trees are displayed art gallery style. Makes for a little different experience. Um, we've got a nice variety of trees this year. Uh, we've got flowering, we've got fruit, we got color, we got you know good evergreen, we've got some different evergreen. So um, maybe we'll go around and highlight a few of the trees. Why don't we go ahead and turn around and let's start uh, We've got an olive here, um, pretty old olive. This is uh, an olive that uh, Jim Barrett uh, originally worked on. It's one of the uh, uh, olives from uh, Kauai. Um, Lance Laney used to bring trees over, and uh, this is one uh, uh, that he brought at one time that Jim worked on, and it's now displayed in all by man will die. Got another kind of historic tree. Uh, one of our, our founding members, or early members, Elaine Grasick. Uh, was a student of John's, and um, uh, this is a, a group planting of feminine uh, forest that, that she worked with John on. So um, it's actually, if you see, that the picture shows John working on one of the trees from uh, long ago. Next tree we have, it's uh, got some historical significance. This is uh, uh, presented from the Clark Collection of the Shinzen Garden of Fresno. Uh, it's actually uh, was developed and designed by Mel Akeda's father. Uh, Mel uh, was a member of uh, Nam Kai, the original study group, and uh, this is one of his dads. And um, I, I know for myself, I think this is probably one of the first of uh, the elder Akeda streets I've ever seen. And uh, Bob Hilder brought that down from the collection. As a Moving on, um, the flowering pear, uh, we actually have this, uh, this is one of John's trees, and um, uh, you can actually see it's, it's got pears on it. Uh, they're green, but uh, uh, yeah, it's a very old, old piece. Cheryl took a lot of uh, John's trees uh, and was uh, the caretaker um, after he passed. Uh, a number of them have gone to the grandkids somewhere at the Huntington. But uh, Cheryl still had a, a couple that were in the ground, and so this, when she dug it, she potted it and put it in today. A little bit further, this is a, a tree uh, from Shignia, another one of uh, our early members here. This is a two-trunk Chinese elm. This is actually uh, presented here from the Huntington. It's part of uh, Huntington's collection of bonsai. And uh, again, a nice, really cool elm. And we've got one other kind of legacy tree here. This is a, a crepe myrtle that was uh, developed by Mary Bell Ballandon. Uh, again, one of one of the early uh, members of the original Nanpukai. And um, uh, again, look at that nice tight flower mats just coming in perfectly for the show too. His, his dad uh, showed at this show many times, and when his dad passed away, uh, Kenji started showing. And look at the needle reduction on this for a Japanese black pine. That, that one inch long needle is pretty remarkable. And then the shallow pot it's in, too, is quite, quite the presentation. Um, moving down, um, we've got a all of here from Tak Shimazu. Um, Tak actually had planned on putting a different tree in, into the exhibition. He had a potato line that was in the room. But as he's getting ready to bring it in, uh, he dropped the pod and it broke. So he had to put this olive in, but the olive is pretty magnificent in and of itself. So not complaining of it. 
of Marianne Yamaguchi, uh, daughter of George Yamaguchi, one of his partners, uh, uh, and the Chichi Ginko. Uh, and so you'll see the lumps and rolls as you get up on the trunk. And uh, at one time, you used to see a lot of Chichi Ginko, and you really don't see many at all anymore. So I don't know if they just eventually uh, poop themselves out, or people just start to or what. You don't see them too often. So we have another tree. This is a tree from Steve Iwaki, comes uh, here from the Bay Area, uh, San Jose. Um, uh, and he had a, a, a story to go along with this tree uh, as it relates to uh, 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 internment camps. It, uh, it, and, and he really uh, feels that the ruggedness and the wild juniper really embodies the Japanese spirit that, that enable them to, um, you know, survive and, 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 and make it through that terrible ordeal. We have Michael Roberts, Court Oak. Of course, uh, Michael from both Court Oak and Court Hill is one of uh, our recognized masters. And we all show a pretty stunning tree, um, all self-developed. Jupiter, uh, uh, long experience bonsai, as Robert Kugavine, uh, a rosemary uh, in the show. So again, a nice uh, variation uh, on, a, uh, on an evergreen, uh, gives a little, little flavor, a little, little different spice to the show, if you will. Rob King's uh, lavender star flowers on the corner, again loaded with blossoms. Uh, it's nice to have at this time of the year in the middle of summer, some color here and there. Very powerful uh, cascade black pine here from an uh, exhibitor who uh, wanted to make comments, so we respect that. Very powerful. Some more color. Uh, Daniel Deephouse uh, put this bougainvillea in. Uh, just before the show, he had to go find a pot, uh, and he found really a, just about a perfect pot for the trees. And so he potted it just before the show, and boy, just again, what a nice flash of color. Well, Saito has a crab apple there with some nice color coming out of the fruit. Very interesting uh, pot. And here's uh, one of our newest exhibitors. Um, this guy, Miguel Hernandez, is a guy who started just going to the Yamaguchi nursery in West LA, and at one point, uh, George invited him to start working on trees. So he, he became an apprentice, and just uh, a week or two ago, there was an article on him in the LA Times, so uh, people can read a little bit more about him. And he's a first-time exhibitor for us. And right here, we've got a really nice procumbens from Jeff Martin, again, a first-time exhibitor, but it's a very, very nice mature tree in there. And then our, our middle aisle, or middle island, uh, we have here, this is also on loan from the Huntington. This is a Kingsville Boxwood Forest uh, from Leela Kasumi. And again, Leela was one of our early uh, uh, members and uh, had a wonderful bonsai. And again, we were, we were very fortunate to get this in the Huntington collection in her memory. tree planting, uh, Fred Miyahara and uh, Larry Rabel. Fred has taken uh, some of Larry's trees and been caring for them and got this one ready for the show. Both uh, Fred and Larry, again, are some of our early family members of the study group that originally formed this. 
Jonathan G. Um, he's also a first time exhibitor, but a very old uh, rock class being held in, in quite an elaborate pot, but um, pretty harmonious at the same time. The, the tree kind of fits the style of everything else. And here we have one of two uh, uh, Shohin collections. Of course, Peter Makashev is well known for his uh, small trees. Um, always has something of, of interest to put in. This tree by Wally Kunamoto, his first time Victor. He's a gentleman from Santa Barbara that uh, uh, saw our notice for the show. And I've known him for a long time and knew he had some really nice old trees. And so he offered to put this in. And uh, again, nice, uh, nice. You can, you can really tell the age of the, the trunk in the, in the tree. One of two trees that uh, Bill Stanton put in. He's got another cat on, uh, on another bench. But these are all developing cuttings himself. Um, and so very natural looking for <laughs> We'll close off with one of our other Shaheen collections. Uh, this is by Mitch Matsey. And again, a nice variety junipers, uh, uh, arbor vitae. You don't see a lot of arbor vitae. And that one down with the big that's being folks are right now is a neobutsifolia. That's a tropical. They come out of Puerto Rico. And this one has a particular a small leaf. Uh, again, you don't see too many of them in California. But uh, Mitch likes tropicals and does a good job with them. So, um, one tree yet to come, Tom Vong is bringing a uh, Utah juniper that's pretty spectacular. We hope that'll show up in a few minutes. But uh, if you want to see some really beautiful bonsai, come down to uh, Nisei Week to the Japanese American Community Cultural Center and uh, come and check out the show.